Good morning. My happy hour back. Here's the plan. I'm a little late doing the walk around, so you're going to see some stuff that's already been done this morning. But they're going to be finishing off, or maybe even have finished off, a couple of areas of tiling that were started yesterday. They'll be working again on the little uh, bar outside the dirty kitchen. They're doing something completely new upstairs in the hallway. There'll still be a lot of skim coating, particularly in and around the master walk-in closet and bathroom, and could be all sorts of other things going on. There may be water pressure testing. Not sure yet. Plus, an answer or two to some questions that you guys have raised. What? could possibly go wrong. Just to prove that I am a little late getting started, the front porch tiling is done. Uh, Frederick put in the last probably four tiles or partial tiles uh, right up by the entrance all finished. In the spa area, not quite finished. Still a few tiles to go in here. I guess there's two rows, that could be six, seven more tiles or partials to go in here. But I would think that'll get done today. Maybe even by lunchtime. In the very dark, small bathroom off the side of the sunroom. Richard is working on the rebar base and top and sides for the Wabaka, the wash basin cabinet. I would think we might see some concrete in there today. In the upstairs hallway, Elson's working with his disco lights, helping out over here, Frederick, because they're going to be putting tiles as part of the decoration on this wall. Uh, they're gonna be a fairly darkish tile. We'll see a little bit later on if they start to get some of those up. While we're here over the double height area, before the tiles go in, I assume, uh, Ernie over there is just tidying up the panels that are already in place and adding more skim coat preparing those services. I don't know whether they'll try and do both things simultaneously. They might, because down here, underneath the platform, looks like Frederick might be getting ready to start adding tiles straight away. We'll have to wait and see. We're in Sabrina's bathroom, and Grant Hamilton asked the very good question about these uh, ventilation units. Where is it gonna take the air. Uh, so having discussed with the engineer this morning, they are going to vent it out through piping and it will go out uh, through a hole above each of the bathroom windows. So it was a bit the wrong way around really. You know, the ceilings have been prepared to a certain point and now they're going to have to cut into it and put the pipes back in. So I don't know if that was something that they forgot or didn't plan on and me asking that question this morning has prompted this to happen. I don't know, maybe that's unfair. But again, it just proves that you, the comments you guys send really can help us because I wouldn't have thought to ask that question on my own. So Grant, thank you. Inside the master bedroom walk-in closet, Herwin is working on his skim coating and take a dizzy pill. Mr. Willie doing the same thing on the ceiling inside the master bathroom. While we're in the bathroom, our plumber, Mr. Rennell, is back on site today. So I've asked again to just recheck this, try and make sure there's no leaks. The other thing that may be going on again today, despite the fact that everything's kind of tiled in, so I'm not sure what will happen, is I think they're gonna be doing water pressure testing again, possibly 
for the whole system. So if that happens, we'll try and capture at least a little bit of that. I really hope everything's okay because, as I say, a lot of this, somebody's already said, once it's concreted in, tiled in, it's kind of too late. Well, I, I guess, I suppose it's not, but it would mean, if there's a problem, potentially removing all sorts of wall surface, whether it's tiles or the uh, plaster that's underneath. Could be a real problem if there is an issue with that pressure. A question from the engineer this morning is what kind of glass do we want in the large sliding doors that will go at the back of the patio between the patio and the sunroom? Do we want clear glass or tinted? Uh, I think the answer is we want tinted uh, because that's uh, an external uh, access to the house and we want that privacy that tinted glass will give. Obviously, if there are lights behind it, we know we, we have to put blinds or something, but I think generally speaking, anything external, we want tinted and it will also match all the windows, the external windows uh, going on the side of the house. Further inside, you can probably make out the two, where well, there will be two sliding doors going into the dining room. That will be clear glass. We don't need the tint on that. Post lunch, Operation Crasser, sit rep, camera crew about to engage, build crew. Operation Crasser, oh, you'll have to wait and see what that's all about. But first, a quick message to our sponsors, and that's you. It's one of my hopefully relatively irregular and therefore not too annoying requests to you. You made it this far, thank you very much. Would you mind, if you're not feeling violently ill, remember that's our benchmark here. You don't have to like something, you just need to not be violently ill. A little bit unwell, that's okay. If you have not been violently ill, would you mind, press the like button. And if you're not subscribed yet, go on, help us out. It really is appreciated. Back to the build. The first thing we see is Bapa Jess, our electrician. Actually, plus Mr. Romeo, who's another electrician. He has been on the crew on and off really from quite early on, but I think he's a more regular feature now. So they have just been upstairs doing all sorts of testing of connections. And now, I don't know what this is about. Uh, we'll find out maybe later on today. Inside the spa, there's no one here. And there's no one here because Mr. Rene and Carlito finished those last remaining tiles which means that all of the floor in the gym spa now has its surface. The next step in here, maybe not yet, but the next step will be going back to work on the hot tub. And probably after a bit of cleanup and a bit more plastering, tiles. May have to wait a while to see that happening. Inside the very dark, small bathroom off the side of the sunroom, Richard is working on the ceiling. And just down here, it's not easy to see. <laughs> Man, this just brought me a buco juice. Uh, but down here, we've not yet got concrete in the base or in the top. Looks like it's ready to be poured though. In the kitchen, something that original Rico and Irwin were working on a little while ago, is a bit more plastering on the bases of these cabinets where one or two didn't have the best finish. So they've just kind of tidied it up with another little bit of plaster. And they've done that on a couple of the cabinets here. Inside Alex's room, Ernie is applying some paint, real paint, finishing paint. And it's to give, again, a little bit of a swatch to make sure that we're happy with the colours that are being used in here. As far as I can tell, it's not going to be the same colour across all of the ceiling. But we'll have to wait and see how that works out. 
in the upstairs hallway, Elson, and hidden under the platform, uh, Mr. Frederick, have been working on something new. And here it is. They've been putting tiles in parts of this wall. So it's a pretty dark grey, a little bit of a surface, uh, not a pattern really, just a textured surface. And outside of that, on the left and the right and the other ends, what they will end up doing is taking it back to a wood colour. In fact, take another dizzy pill, it'll kind of match this. So they'll bring back the kind of wood look that was initially on the boards over there before they skim coated it. I think that's going to look very nice. This is the wall in the master bedroom where the bedhead will be. And Mr. Rennie and Carlito have made a right old mess of this wall, but they've done it with a good reason. They've just roughed up the surface. And the reason they've roughed up the surface is because they've started putting in tiles. So this will be across a pretty big area on this wall. And if you remember from before, we then have the wood design feature that will have lights embedded in it. And I'm, in, I'm guessing that that again will be taken back to the original wood color, a light brown, uh, and the grain will be fairly apparent once they've finished. It's hard to really visualize everything, but I think that again will look really nice. Time will tell. In the master bathroom, there's been a lot going on here. Mr. Willie has been skim coating the ceiling. We've already got now the extraction unit over there. And Mr. Ronnell has been preparing the duct to go from there around the outside edge, above the ceiling, of course, and it will come out of the wall just over there. He's already drilled the hole, uh, so a little bit more preparation required there. And then this exhaust fan will be vented, but there's more. We have a working shower. Well, without the waterfall head yet, but we have a waterfall shower here. I have said to the engineer that water pressure doesn't look spectacular. But my understanding is there will be an, another pump to boost the water pressure everywhere, really. But these jets are in place and they work. And I did get a demonstration a little while ago. This other shower head also is fully functional. What we are not entirely sure of yet is whether that little tiny dribble of a leak that we saw on Saturday, whether that's all okay now. Uh, I've not seen anybody testing that and we'll have to again wait and see what the outcome of that is. Right, here at the bar structure that was built yesterday, it's on hold. What we'd actually asked for was uh, a wood bar. Now, I think that what they intend is to put wood on top of that slab. But we've asked them to hang on. The builder's due to come in tomorrow because this is a big old structure and we're just wondering whether a simple wood bar could be attached to the wall just maybe with angle brackets uh, and look a little bit less I don't know just a little bit less so we'll have that discussion tomorrow to see if this does continue or if it is revised it is very nearly 4 30 at the end of the day which means it's time for one of your contributions this one is from Drew NC61, if I remember correctly. It does contain a word that probably these days is not entirely politically correct, but I'm too old to know what the correct version is and it probably would ruin everything anyway. So, please don't be offended. 
But Drew says, what do you call a midget psychic who has escaped from prison? A small medium at large. Hope that's okay. It is quite funny though. Before we go inside, two things to see. Uh, I'll zoom this in so you can have a better look. I have no idea still what uh, Bapa Jess and uh, Mr. Romeo were working on. I'm assuming it was something to do with exterior lights. And up top, above that second window from the right, you can see a duct now emerging, uh, which is the duct that he was putting in for the ventilation out of the master bathroom. Uh, presumably it'll get cut back a little bit more and it will need to have some kind of screen, very fine mesh screen on it to stop bugs and kangaroos going inside. Uh, but that's what they're going to be doing for all of the bathrooms. Right, let's go and have a look, see what's been going on inside the house. Inside the small bathroom uh, it, or just off the sunroom. Uh, Richard continued with the frame for the ceiling in here. And no, he didn't pour the uh, base or the top for the wash basin cabinet yet. I did get a question earlier on today from the engineer about the surface finish on this kitchen island. So we've had a little chat about that. It will be, I've mentioned before, it will be two different surfaces on here. And you'll have to wait and see what that means. But because he's asked me about it, and in fact he asked me twice, I get the feeling they might be about to make a move on this quite soon. On the wall uh, above the double height area in the upstairs hallway, we had this earlier. And they've got most of the tiles done for this second area, which are the only two areas, I think, that they're putting tiles here. In the master bedroom, more wall tiles here as well. That looks to me like that'll get finished off tomorrow. No tricky edge bits here to deal with. So I think it's simply a case of slotting the tiles on the wall. This is inside the master bathroom. So here's the new duct to carry the noxious fumes from the bathroom. Uh, not connected yet. It goes only from here to the outside wall so far. While we're in the master bathroom, it looks like, uh, who is this? Willy We've got all of this coated with skim coat. I think that's the second coat on here. In Alex's bedroom, Ernie, I think, finished what he intended to finish. So it's just this central section that's been painted grey at the moment. Not sure what happens where we currently have white primer. We'll have to wait and see if that's a different shade of grey or a completely different colour. I shouldn't think totally different, but watch this space tomorrow. Well, the guys did make it out before the rain, but I'm sure for most of them, they'll have a wet motorbike ride home. Uh, I don't think this is gonna last very long, but right now, they'll be getting wet. So at the end of the day, uh, I'm gonna get wet, walking back to the little house, but I'm English, we're supposed to like that. Uh, a day of wall tiling, ceiling tiling, skim coating, painting, uh, ceiling manufacturing. Uh, oh my goodness, there was so much going on today and a lot of it wasn't in the plan I was given this morning. It's all good. Hopefully, all good tomorrow as well. See you then.